In March of 2003, Elizabeth Smart was rescued after being held captive for nine months. In the years since, she has testified to put her captors behind bars, help promote a national Amber Alert system, and work with the Department of Justice to create a survivor's guide for victims. Even with the titles of advocate and best-selling author, this amazing mother of three talked about one of her favorite titles of all. So I was born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah. I had a wonderful childhood here. I didn't think anything could ever happen to me. I thought I lived in a safe neighborhood. I thought I lived in a safe home. A man broke into my house in the middle of the night, came up to my bedroom, held a knife to my neck, and told me to get up and go with him. For the next nine months, I was held captive. I was raped daily. I was starved. I was chained up. I'm so grateful for just everyday people who kept their eyes out, who acted when they thought they saw something. We were stopped by the police and they were able to rescue me and reunite me with my family. I am here today because of my family, because of that love, because of that support I've had in my life. Without it, I think it's almost impossible to move forward. I grew up thinking forgiveness was very much a two-way street, but I don't believe that at all anymore. I believe that forgiveness is quite possibly the greatest expression of self-love you can give yourself. My captors had stolen my life away from me. They'd taken me away from my family, my friends, my school, everything that I knew, everyone that I loved. Carrying that anger and that pain around every single day, that will stop me from living my life fully. Love yourself enough to let go of those things. Love yourself enough to embrace your life. And whether that's mistakes that you've made or pain caused by someone else. Being a survivor, I don't think is a bad thing. In fact, I think it's quite the opposite. That is a title of strength. I believe that it's a title of power. I mean, you went through something and you came out the other side. You did not give in. You didn't give up. You kept going. You kept on fighting. You kept on working. I'm perfectly happy to go by the title of survivor because to me, that is a very powerful name. <laughs>